Welcome back to Galaxy Technologies. My name is Shankar. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Docker on your Amazon Linux and CentOS system. Right? In Docker, there are uh, two types of editions that is community edition and enterprise edition. If you are having the Amazon Linux or CentOS, you can use the community edition. But uh, if you want to use enterprise edition, it comes with license nothing but it is chargeable if you have a red hat system there is no community edition for red hat so you must go with the enterprise edition that's why i have chosen send OS over here if uh, for amazon linux you need to just execute two steps first you need to update your uh, system then you can just go and install your docker because uh, uh, docker repositories are uh, repos are already added to your amazon linux system that's why in most of the cases I, I i use amazon linux because it is quite flexible and in centos if you want to install you need to follow the prerequisites <coughs> excuse me prerequisites once it is done then only you can install the docker ce let's jump in i have already launched a docker host system nothing but docker vm that is on CentOS running as a CentOS system. And uh, it I have launched it from the marketplace because it, it won't be available in the quick start. You can go to marketplace. Just for your reference, I'm showing it. CentOS, you can see CentOS 7 and 6. You just choose the uh, any CentOS system and start uh, doing this lab, All right? Now I am already logged into system and to log into a CentOS system, the user ID must be CentOS. You can see over here, right? Now I am going to follow the steps what I have specified in my uh, GitHub uh, repo uh, file. And uh, you can follow the same document if you want to uh, install. And I'm going to give this URL over here, over there. Okay, I'm installing the prerequisites. Next thing, you need to set up the repository. I mean to say repo. I have set up repo. Next thing is just you need to install your Docker C community edition. Sorry. It should be root, right? Yes. Or else you can use the sudo. Once it is installed, you can start the your Docker service. So this is how you can set up your system for uh, Dockerization. Once the Docker is installed, we are going to pull a uh, Docker image from the uh, Docker Hub and try to launch a Docker container. It should work. It means that your Docker installation has been completed successfully. So Docker installation is done. I'm starting a Docker service. And uh, system CTL status Docker, it will show you your Docker is running. And the next step is just you need to ex execute this one. What does it do is it is going to pull the hello world image from your Docker uh, hub and try to create a container. and uh, i think it is successfully created and you need to check it by using the docker ps docker ps is a command to see the list of the containers which is running but it is not showing under running because it might be stopped yeah 14 seconds it got created and exited nothing but it can able to pull image and do that right in next few videos, I'm going to show you how you can uh, execute a Docker command. What are the useful commands? Next, uh, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Docker file. 
Hope this video helps you and see you in the next lecture. Thank you.